Were you busy or were you on the phone with me for 11 minutes? No, before, when she got here. Uh-huh. When she just got here, I was busy. But then you called me. Instead of bringing the voucher outside where she was waiting for you, you called me twice. You're trying to avoid helping her, and now you're telling me that I need to get her on a, on a bus. If I to try to avoid helping her, I would just tell her to go to mental health. I, I, don't, know. I don't know what to tell I just you. don't know why you're not doing know. your you're job, doing, Carla. You're kind of getting me tired and frustrated. If you don't mind, I can take your email, yeah. send you the form, yep. just in case. Yeah. She shows up, you have the forms already completed, and that kind of puts us ahead a little ahead of the game, right? That'll work. Um, what is your email address? Well, it takes a little while. It's not immediately. Yeah. It's not immediate, but it, we'll work on the process. Now yeah. that I have your contact, we, we can connect it. Okay. We start in the process. Once we're there, once okay. we're ready and it's approved, the funds are approved, uh, with her assistance, because she does have to sign some forms and okay. things like that. Yeah. Yeah. What? I'm not in Monday. Okay. But I will send you the forms and um. The, the form from you, I will send it back tonight, and I, I will I will recontact with you Tuesday morning just to touch base and see what I've uh, figured out over yeah. the weekend. But uh, I want to make sure that you understand that I'm here to help her. I'm I'm not in I'm in no way trying to stop any services or any benefits from her. And I don't, I don't appreciate you assuming or telling me that you think that I'm trying to do that. Uh, if you want me to stop working with her, I can reach out to another caseworker and she can take over if you like. Uh, because I'm doing my best to help her. But if you believe that I'm trying to stop that in any way, I can transfer you and, and transfer her to another caseworker. Well, I was just, I guess I was just confused because you reached out to me out of the blue and said, Victoria's trying to get here, you're trying to help her, and the only way that can happen... At, at, her, at her suggestion, at her request. Yeah. I just didn't do it out of the blue. It's at her request. Yes. You reached out to me, and you said that the only way you could help her is if I filled out certain forms. And you would need those forms in your possession filled out when she returned the next time. Correct. So you never sent me those forms, and when I asked you about that, you said the reason you didn't send me the forms is because she didn't show up for the second appointment. Yes. I didn't send them. If you recall, I told you that day, the last Friday or the day before, the last time I saw her that week, it was 4.20-something. And I leave at, it was 4-something. I leave, I have to be out of here by 4 Four thirty. I had to be done with her no later than four fifteen to get out of here. And I did that. Uh, I told you I would try to do that. I was gonna do my best to do that, and I was not able to do that. I was not here on Monday. So Tuesday, when she didn't show up, I didn't send those documents because she did not show up to, to let me know that she wanted to move forward. And if she shows up out of the blue, it makes it really hard because I do have several clients that stop by just like her. Pretty much, if I'm working with them, I can drop the client to take care of her. No, no one's asking you to. My, my question is, if it was so important that you had those forms in your possession when she returned for the meeting with you on the following Tuesday after the holiday. But she didn't show up. She didn't show up. I, I know I didn't okay. get... Car didn't Carla, get Carla, 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 on, Carla, on Carla, Carla, can you please let me finish the sentence? Sure, go ahead. You told me you needed those forms filled out before she came back on her Tuesday meeting. So saying the reason you didn't send it to me is because she didn't show up for Tuesday meeting makes no sense. Because you sh you told me you were going to, I mean. Yeah, I was supposed to send them to you. Yes. yes. I was supposed to send them to you, but I don't work in the weekend. I don't work Saturday. I don't work Sunday. I don't work Monday. I didn't work Monday that week. I could not send it to you because I didn't get a chance to do that day. Uh, that last day I spoke to you and I was supposed to send it to you. Yes, yeah, you were supposed to send it to me. So I waited all weekend. Yes. I kept checking my folders. Nothing came in. So Tuesday morning when you got to the office, you, I would think, oh my gosh, Vicky's coming in. I need these forms. And then you would send it to me then. Yeah, I didn't send them to 
No, still didn't send them to me. Yeah, so, but but now, now I don't know why you're caught up. With the because you're blaming Victoria we, for you not sending the form. I'm not blaming Victoria. Sure. I'm not blaming Victoria. I, the, I, I, I can't do what I need to do if she's not here. Exactly. Though I have everything I I, I need from you, she she's not here. So why and did the ID voucher? She just left. She left. I was talking to you. Trying. I told her I want to try to get a hold of you. I did. I was talking to you that day. She why? took off. I'm, I'm curious, though. Why did you need to get a hold of me to give her the ID voucher? No. I was trying to get a hold of you before that day to try to get a hold of her, to try to see if you had talked to her. But when she came in to I get the... I don't need to talk to you to give her an ID voucher. Then why I did you... I don't know what she told you. Well, you just said that you left her outside waiting and came in to call me. What you did, you called me twice. You didn't just call and leave a message, then you called right back. So I heard my phone yeah, ring that's twice. When, that's when I told you I was gonna send the documents to get to, to your email, to sign them, that was that day, correct? So, 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 your, so your thing is you, you neglected to send the documents when you said you would, and then the day she was supposed to come in, you didn't send them. And then when she did show up, you immediately had to get a hold of me that very moment for the documents because you hadn't gotten them to me beforehand, correct? I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I just you. don't know why I you're not doing your job, you're, Carla. You're kind of getting me tired and frustrated when all I need is for her to show up. And she did. And instead of giving her the form, she's you... She's not here. She's not here. She, she was. Yesterday, she didn't show up today. She was there, though, and you left her outside for like an hour. So I went to Salvation Army yesterday. And I did this whole crazy run around where I sat there for fucking ever. Uh -huh. I literally did. I just sat there forever. No way. Forever, ever, and ever. And the lady didn't was coming out. I think they were playing me. Calling me? When you just said you didn't need to call me? Oh my goodness. Carla, why did you call me that day? Twice. Please tell I, me. I, I just want to know why you. I don't know what to tell you. You are caught up with. What I should have, could have, oh, I, I'm not sure. You're not sure? It's not immediate. It's not immediate. I cannot buy her the bus pass immediately. It takes about two to three weeks. I told you this. Yes. But and you could have, but you can't. You know, I don't understand but what you, you don't not understand. Because you, could, because you could have given her the DMV paperwork right away. You didn't she, need I, me for that. How, how was that? She, I, she's telling you one thing. If she did not request an ID voucher or did not stick around for the ID voucher, I cannot give it to her. Carla. It has nothing to do with me. It doesn't cost me anything to give her that. Then why didn't you just no give reason. it to her? She took off. The first time she did not request it. The second time I said, uh, we can we can do an ID voucher. We can. I told her all the services we can provide for her. Uh -huh. And she said, okay, I'll meet you okay. the next day, which she didn't show up. But okay, then she, she did. Show up. But then she did show up, and you said, "Wait out here. I'm gonna go get you a voucher." And instead of okay. getting her a voucher, you called me twice. To let you know that you had to, I'm gonna, I was gonna send you the forms. Nothing to do with the voucher. To to send the forms, the voucher. I was gonna. I had I had the vouchers with me when I walked out there. She was not there anymore. Yeah, because first of all, you called me twice, and then we're on the phone arguing with me for eleven up minutes. Without an appointment, if you recall, she shows up without an appointment. I, I was busy. If she's you were busy. Kind of waiting out there, wait, 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 Carla. Were you busy, or were you on the phone with me for eleven minutes? No, before when she got here. Uh huh. When she just got here. I was busy. But then you called me instead of bringing the voucher outside where she was waiting for you. You called me twice, had an 11 million argument with okay, me. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm yeah, done. maybe I'm you should be done, Carla. Case. I'm going to give you another case. Please, please Carla. Will she be, can, will she destroy can. the fucking whole system to be an idiot? Or will she do her job correctly? Well, um, I'm I mean, going to give her to another case worker. That'd be great. And um, Thanks. hopefully she shows up. Yeah, that'd be great. What's the name of the caseworker so I can talk to that person? I'm going to have you contact. I'm going to have them contact you. Well, what's your supervisor's name, Carla? That's who I'm, You can talk to the other caseworker about it. No, I'd like to know your supervisor's name, Carla. It's Jennifer. 
Jennifer what? Jennifer Stanfield. She'll give you a call. Stanfield? Yeah. And she'll she'll be able to explain to me why instead of bringing the voucher outside to Vicky, you called me twice, argued with I me guess, for eleven yeah. minutes. I I guess yeah. Okay, great. Because I'd like an answer to that question, Carla. Okay. Because because okay. Victoria said one one last. Ah, oh, there you go. Hello? Hello? Hello, good afternoon. This is Carla calling from Salvation Army. May I speak to Seth? Yeah, this is Seth. I've, I've been trying to get back to you. I got your message yesterday. Yes, thank you for calling back. Did you get my um, message? I wasn't sure. It looked like it was general mailbox or something. Uh, um, I just got the message. Um, the person that got your message earlier, I think you left the message in the yeah, voicemail. Yeah, yeah, okay. I didn't get a message, just like your name, okay. pretty much. Uh, okay. I don't know if you left a uh, detailed message, but... Um, just a little bit. I just wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. It looked like I wasn't sure if someone was checking that mailbox, if you'd even get it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, um, for future, if you, if the, when you have the message, if, um, once the message starts, you can just dial the extension, 1201, and it'll go directly to my voicemail. Once the message starts? What do you mean? Yeah, once the message starts. Like when you call our office, uh -huh. if nobody picks up once the message starts, any time during the message, you can transfer to 1201. I tried that. I tried that. It, it tried that and it dialed somebody else. I dialed oh, okay. 1201 and it sent it to another one, so I called up and tried again. It was... Anyway. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> you I'm got sorry, you got me now. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry for that. We'll, we'll look into that. Uh, I want to make sure I get my calls directly. Okay. Uh, well, in regards to Victoria, uh, yeah. that's how I got your information. Uh, we were supposed to meet today, this morning, uh, so we can call you uh, and get a hold of you and talk to you about Victoria and how we can uh, help her get back home. Yeah. Um, since she didn't show up today, I'm glad you called. Maybe you can give me a little bit of information on her and in regards to, uh, because she said that you would be a good place to go back to, that you'd be willing to accept her and and pretty much um, vouch for her, right? To yes. Say, hey, I will accept her. I'll, I'll be responsible. She's not going to end up homeless here. I'll, I'll watch her until, you know, she's back on her feet. I'll help her, um, house her, and pretty much that's what we would have uh, you complete a form. Okay. In order for us to, uh, to assist her with transportation costs to get back. Um, okay. To Missouri, uh, but since she didn't come in today, I'm hoping that she will come back soon. Uh, I don't have a number for her. She doesn't. Have she doesn't a have a phone. Time. Yeah. She said, yeah. Um, I don't know um, if you have. She didn't leave any contact information, like hotel or number or anything like that. Um, so I really don't have much for her other than an email address. She so does. I, that's, I can try that. I can contact her by email. She doesn't really check that very often. Um, I, yeah. I can only get a hold of her through Facebook because she doesn't have the phone. When she's borrowing a phone, I can get a hold of her through Facebook. How did she end up in your office the first time the other day, though? Um, I am not sure. She just showed up in the front office, and she mentioned she needed uh, some items. And uh, so... We offer services here, different services, and she mentioned she's homeless, so uh, we just talk to them, and if there's any um, way that we can help them and get uh, something more permanent, get out of homelessness, we do our best to connect them to those services. So yeah. when I asked if she has family or anybody that, um, even if it's out of state, that we may help relocate or help pay for, for that to yeah. get back home, uh, she mentioned you. Yeah. Um, Said, yeah, I can. I think Seth will be the one, and, and I'll be. I, I want to go back, she said. And um, so she was very happy to hear that, yeah. Um, yeah, but she so we made an appointment for today, uh, she didn't show. So, uh, maybe if you speak to her, have her come back to the office, okay. And um, I can, if you don't mind, I can take your email, yeah, send you the form, yep. just in case. Yeah. She shows up, you have the forms already completed, and that kind of puts us ahead a little ahead of the game, right? That'll work. Um, what is your email address? 
Okay, so I will send you the form that would would be required for us to be able to uh, request the funds to help her get back to Missouri once she's, you know, she gets in contact with us. Okay. Um, she did display, like, you know, a little distracted, and, you know, she mentioned that she um, had received mental services, uh, mm-hmm. mental health services before. Yeah. Um, but I can't really tell you know that's why i wanted to get a hold of you and see if you can give me a little backstory so i can understand her better yeah when i do get to speak to her again hopefully um well, the, the short version of the story is uh, when she was 12, year old, 12 years old, she borrowed her mother's car uh, and got in a three-car three accident in front of the apartment complex. And, and when we heard the crash, her mother and I went down and she, uh, her mother told her to go upstairs to her room. And because she did that, the cops charged her with hit and run. So even though she was 12 and her mother told her to go to her room, she was charged with hit and run and she spent 500 days in lockup. And while she was in lockup, they gave her a medication that she had an allergic reaction to and they didn't believe that she was having an allergic reaction, so they kept giving it to her and she ended up with permanent brain damage. Oh, wow. That is awful. And her mother died uh, 14 years ago and I've been trying to help her ever since, but it's, it's difficult. Uh, Well, I mean, I've, here's the situation. I, uh, I I participated in a medical research study, uh, last year and I got like $7,000 for it. And I used the money to go out there and pick her up and bring her back to Missouri. But she had a boyfriend who kept calling her and convinced her to come back to Lancaster. And then, so she went all the way back there and has been homeless ever since because the boyfriend screwed her over. So yeah. we've been trying. She actually has a Greyhound ticket for Tuesday, um, a Monday night, but she still hasn't gotten her ID. And if she doesn't get it by tomorrow through the DMV, she's going to miss that bus as well. And then she really will. Is there, is there, um, does she need an ID? Is that, yeah. Is that, oh, she's, yeah. Is that a thing? Yeah. Did she not mention that? Okay. I, I'm not aware, like, I'm not sure for sure, 100% that that's the fact. I mean, you, I'm sure you looked into it and, and confirmed that information. Yeah, well, I think it, it got, it, her last ID got stolen, and she's been without one ever since. And I, we got her a ticket, because if you buy a ticket, you, there's a way to buy a ticket through Greyhound where you don't need an ID, but she missed that bus, so when I reschedule the Greyhound for the second time, you do need an ID, and that reschedule is for Monday night, and I'm almost positive she's not going to get that. Because Greyhound doesn't pick up in uh, Antelope Valley anymore. She used to, you should be able to catch a Greyhound right in Palmdale. Now she has to get all the way to Union Station in Los Angeles and then catch a, 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 a cab from Union Station to the Greyhound Station. And she just doesn't have the mental facilities for a trip like that. She gets overwhelmed and she's scared, you know, if she because she'd have to catch the train from Lancaster to Union Station, and then it's just right. she's she's a mess. It, if they could have just picked her up in Palmdale, it, she'd probably be here by now. But just getting can, her to the can bus. Get, um, can you, I, I don't know how much an Uber will cost. Or I didn't even think of that. I'm, or a taxi to, to get her you know I didn't I didn't even think I, I should I should I should call the taxi service because Ubers I'm not sure if she doesn't have a phone I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get her an Uber the way the app works I think you have to be there with it but I didn't even think of right. check of calling taxi services for to to Union Station let me yeah let me check into those yeah that's a possibility and um well I'm glad to hear that that option and, um, yeah, it's just her not having a phone makes it hard. Yeah, believe me, I know. To, especially for you. Uh, let's say you've been paying for a hotel and, and maybe you communicate on that 
in the hotel's um, number. Um, I think she mentioned that. Well, I, I gave her money. I sent her money yesterday for a hotel, and I know she got into the hotel, and I was expecting to hear from her this morning asking for more money, and I haven't heard from her all day, which has got me worried because all she had to do was call me. She knows her... I, I actually... When her ID was stolen, they also stole her uh, her disability benefits card, her Social Security benefits card, and we've spent the last three months trying to get Social Security to shut it off because the person who stole it knew her PIN, so they changed her PIN, and once you change the PIN, then people can't even call to report it stolen. So they've been using her benefits card for the last three months before I could finally get someone at Social Security to to help us shut it down and now her new card came to me so at the beginning of the month I get her money and then I have to Western Union in it like 100 at a time to her oh, wow. it's been oh my god oh wow it's bad. yeah <laughs> oh my I'm so sorry you've gone through so much and helping her and you know it's the, the frustration I can't imagine yeah no you have no idea <laughs> Yeah. snack or meal, you know, things like that, but I think she'll be, I mean, I think, uh, the, the sooner she gets back home, that, that would be the best. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let me, um, you go, you, you go ahead, now, when you email me that form, I can sign it, scan it, and then email it back to you, is that? Well, um, um, um now I'm thinking, like, how, even if we do get her a ticket, I mean, main need, right? That is not the problem. The problem is getting her to, to the bus, yeah. getting her to get, just making sure she gets on it. Yeah. Not because she doesn't want to, just she gets frustrated to get from one place well, to the other. Well, it's, it's not just the frustration either. The people she's with, the, she's, her, her drug addiction, unfortunately, has migrated to uh, huffing the, the dust-off cans. And what that does is when she does that, it makes her unconscious. So the men who are letting her stay with her, stay with them, don't want her to get on the bus to come to me because they're yeah. the person who passes out and they get to have sex with is going to disappear. Yeah. So twice yeah. they have, she was like, suppo- someone was supposed to be taking her to the, the train station and they ended up quote unquote missing it. So the people she's with says they're going to help her and they make sure she misses the bus. So, yeah, yeah getting her well, to, to the Greyhound is the hardest part at this point. Let me, let me talk to my boss supervisor and okay. see how, because I, I don't think the money is an option because you're willing to pay for whatever that is, the yeah. bus, taxi, or, or like Greyhound. Right? That's not an issue. They well, I mean, it is because I've already, I've already spent. If if this she misses this ticket, I will have already spent five hundred dollars on tickets she missed. <laughs> so it is, it is financially. I mean, I'm I'm on an unemployment myself. I mean, I'm I'm okay, but I can't keep buying okay. Greyhound tickets that she doesn't use. <laughs> okay, so let me let me um okay, so I'll 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 send you the form. Okay. And um. I'm hoping she'll will get a, you will you'll get a hold of her. I will. And uh, we'll we'll start the process. Okay. And then I will. It takes a little while. It's not immediately. Yeah. It's not immediate, but it we'll work on the process. Now yeah. that I have your contact, we we can connect it. Okay. We start in the process. Once we're there, once okay. we're ready and it's approved, the funds are approved uh, with her assistance because she does have to sign some forms and okay. things like that. Yeah. Yeah, and, and the ID too. I mean, that that's the other step of this process is been trying to get her to go to the DMV all month. I've given her money to get her ID three times this month, and it, she never ends up getting there. Well, we we give a, we give vouchers for IDs. Okay, good, good. It's only it's only once. I mean, if she keeps losing the vouchers, we can't get <laughs> yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and I mean, but but this is what we can do. We can have a person take her to the DMV. That's what she needs. Uh, we can 
they oh, yes. asked her yes. for, for um, the homeless services <laughs> yes. to, to give a ride to the DMV, yes. and she would have to stay there and process, you know, and have making sure that she, she does what she needs to do. And then from there, it takes about two weeks to get the ID. Yeah. Um, to, but, you know, I... I um, and I know that's a difficult part, especially if she has people around her that don't want her to yeah. to succeed, and, yeah. you know, because they'll lose her, you know, her money or her, you know, their, you know. Yeah, I know. Uh, so, um, yeah, so we'll, I'll do that. I'll email you the forms. Okay. If you do talk to her, uh, just let her know we're here. Uh, we're close tomorrow, Friday. Oh, uh, okay. Um, what? I'm not in Monday. Okay. But I will send you the forms and... um. What? If she can, if she can come in Monday to request the night <coughs> voucher, um, as for the the maybe, what about the, may, who should she talk to? Maybe not, maybe not, not get it, but say I want, I need, I'm gonna need a ride to the DMV, so they they have that coordinated. Yeah. So when that voucher is available, the ride's also available. If you know she, the, you t- you're the one who sat down with her on on when she came in. Yes. Because so, if if I send her there on a day you're not there. That just feels like it's going to go badly. She's going to get... Yeah. She, so what, when are you there now? Tell me when you're there, and that's when I'll try to get her to go. Uh, Tuesday. I'll be here Tuesday. I'm here uh, by 8.30. I mean, if she can't get here in the morning or afternoon, it doesn't matter. We'll, I'll, I'll connect with her, and I'll talk to her and, and see if we can you know, just continue and making sure that, that she understands what we're trying to do. And okay. She seems... I mean, just for your peace of mind, she looks fine. She looks great. She was clean. She, her hair looked good. She looked fine. Like, if you saw her, yeah. there was no no trace that she's been out in the street or anything like that. Uh, so just for your peace of mind, she looks fine. And of course... I appreciate you know, that. I can't... Just, just, just an appearance. That's all yeah. I can say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right. Just yeah. for your peace of mind, she she did mention you were kind enough to pay her hotel, and she's been sleeping there, and she's been okay. Yeah. Um, but if you do talk to her, hopefully she'll connect with me on Tuesday. Okay, I'm gonna have her try to come see you Tuesday morning. I'm gonna go, I uh, go. Th- I may have to because I, the Greyhound people told me that if once you've changed the ticket once to change it again, you have to go to Greyhound. So I have to drive into Kansas City tomorrow. To change the ticket, I'm gonna push it two weeks. I'm gonna push it like three weeks down the lo- the road, and reschedule it. And hopefully that will give her time to get the ID. The other problem is California um, DMV. The address they have for her is the old place she was staying that her stuff gets stolen from. So she's afraid if she uses that address, the ID will go there and it'll get stolen. Can no, she? she can use our oh, good, good. She can use our Good. That's what I needed. You use uh, uh, so when she comes in on Tuesday, you can help her figure okay, that I'll, out. I'll, I'll help her, and okay. as long as she's you know okay and on board, and um, <laughs> as long as she stays connected, and, and you know, with you maybe with you because I know you're you're her source, and, and you, she seems very happy that you you're there and, and that you, you're helping her. Yeah. Uh, but sometimes you know because she can count on that. That's why sometimes they you know they just like oh well she'll just. You know, be there and, yeah, believe um, me, it's been 14 it's years of that. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Wow, Seth, you're amazing. Uh, God bless you. God bless you and give you peace through this. I can't believe, you know, understand. It's a bunch of years for yeah. you to be like this. And, well, I, I appreciate and, you know, that. Uh, I'll be praying for her and I, I'm hoping to see her on Tuesday. Okay, and I will call you um, e- either way. I'll get the uh, the form from you, I will send it back tonight, and I, I will I will recontact with you Tuesday morning just to touch base and see what I've uh, figured out over yeah. the weekend. Yeah, and I'm sorry about the extension, but if you leave a message, they will give it to me. Just Perfect. Like did today. Perfect. Uh, if you don't get to my extension, but once you connect by email, you can also communicate that way, okay? That'll work. Thank you so much. I really Thank appreciate you your help. Welcome, God bless. Stay safe. You Bye-bye. too. Have a good weekend. Bye. Hi, Carla. It's Seth Aronson returning your call. Hi, Seth. This is 
with Carla, yeah. I have Victoria here. She's outside. Um, she's still saying she wants to go home to Missouri. Um, be, she just showed up at this time, so I'm almost going home. There's only so much I can do. Uh, I can give her the ID voucher so she can see. I hope she can get to the DMV to get it. Um, but I left you a message, and there I recommend that if you can possibly um, get her a taxi and get her a, a fare and go out there as soon as possible, that will be ideal, of course. But I know you're in a tight budget as well. So. Wait, you want me um, to do what now? No, if, if ideally would be that if you can get her a taxi to get on that bus to go back home. Because um, right now she's like serious, and I go, what if he says tomorrow you can go home? He's like, well, I'll be on that bus. I'll be on that bus. Well, what? I thought you. I thought you said you needed a couple weeks to buy the bus ticket. It. It's not that I buy. It's that we submit the request. It takes about two weeks. Okay. But I don't know if she has two weeks. What does that mean? Uh, what am I supposed to do now? She's already missed two buses. Okay. Um, and then that's up to her. You know, it's totally up to her if she shows up. Let's hope she will. And um, it just extends, you know, it just extends the time where she can get the service. Um, but I'll do my part. I hope she does hers. Um, did you, do you, is there anything you want to say to her? Oh, she can't come in the building because of COVID, but I can give her a message or, or is that okay? You're okay. Um, well, I mean, I thought you said you were going to get her a ride to the DMV. You said that you had some, you were going to get her the voucher and then be able to get her there too, or, or no? Well, if she needs to, but only if she makes an appointment, she just said that she can get herself there. Okay, well then, I guess that's the first step. Yeah, so, um, I called you around this time because that's about the time I get free from, from the work. Uh, but I, what's the best time to call you? Uh, I don't, whatever, whenever. I'm, I mean, at this point, you said you had a paperwork you wanted me to fill out, and then you said you didn't want to send me the paperwork. Yeah, because she just showed up a week later. So, I mean, I can't send uh, you documents where I don't even know there's a client to fill out documents okay. for. Is this your first time working with, with a, with mental, mentally ill patient, or... No, I know, but you client. said that you said that there was paperwork you wanted me to do last week, and then you changed your mind because you didn't think she was coming back, and now she's back. Yeah, she's back a week later. Because she's yeah. mentally ill and is homeless. Like you're you're acting that's like you can't believe she didn't. Because we're not we're not mental health. We're uh, not mental health. Uh huh. We we refer to mental health, so I can either refer her to mental health and let them whenever they get back to her, or I can try to do the best that I can to help her. Okay. Because in reality, she has to connect to mental health. But because you express how she is, I can do my best. And she showed up today. I can do the voucher for the ID. Okay. And we'll go from there. And I'll, I'll make an appointment with her for next week. I'll send you, I guess I can send you the forms, but she has to show up. Okay. And so we'll go from there. So, but I, I I just don't understand why your original call to me was all about the form, and then you decided on your own you weren't going to send me the form, and now you're not sure if you want me to send the form. Like I'm not sure what you're, yeah, you you keep calling me for if you're not even. All, okay, when I submit a request, uh -huh. I can't say I I'm going to submit this a week later. Oh, I need the money, but sorry, I I don't know. I'm going to do this request. But I don't know if the, if the client's going to show up. Uh -huh. I can't do that. Then why did you tell no. me last Wednesday that you were going to send me the... E you asked for my email. Because we had an, I, I had an appointment with her for Tuesday that uh -huh. she didn't show up for. But you didn't know that. Do you have a time I, I machine? How did you no, not? How did no. you know she was going to not show up on Tuesday? No, I didn't know. I was Okay, so that's Friday. It was a Friday or Thursday. It was a Wednesday, was, I believe. Like, this, like late, late at this time. 
Uh huh. So at, late at this time, I can't send you an email late, and I think I had a, a the, we had a holiday the next day. So the, yes, you told me the, you were sending me the email before you left. So all w weekend, I I'm looking through my email, checking through my my uh, uh, spam folder, wondering why you didn't send it. And then when I finally get a hold of you on Tuesday, you say you were never going to send it anyway because she wasn't going to show up on Tuesday. I just yeah, don't understand. I didn't, I didn't send it to you the week, week before. Uh -huh. I, left, I left work and I did not send it to you. I didn't get back till Tuesday uh -huh. and I, she didn't come on Tuesday. Uh -huh. So I didn't send it. That makes no sense whatsoever. Do you have like a supervisor? I just don't understand. It seems like you're not, you're, you're trying to avoid helping her. And now you're telling me that I need to get her on a, on if a bus. If I were to try to avoid helping her, I would just tell her to go to mental health. Well, then w that's, that's what we're supposed to do. Okay. But I don't want to do that. I want to see what I can, how I can best help her. So, so why wouldn't can't... you start the process of trying? You just said you don't think she's going to last two weeks. No, I didn't say, no, I'm saying I, I would like her to go home before two weeks. It's so hot out here, and and I think it would be better if she can, if, if, like you said, you've been trying to get her home, if you can do that, if not, then... I've already bought her two tickets that she has missed. I've already spent $500 trying to get her out here, and the people she's with make sure she misses the bus, which is what yeah, I explained to you last week. Too, but I mean, I, I, I'm, we can continue trying to do what we can do, but that's my concern that she just, she says one thing, but she does something else. Well, it sounds like that's both of you at this point, to be honest with you. I don't understand why I'm getting the run. You, you, so I don't understand what, it seems like your whole thing is to keep telling me things and then not following through. So if you well, want to help her, let's get the process started to get her the ticket. I don't understand. Okay, so I'm going to give her the ID voucher so she can, because she just said I can get myself to the DMV and get me my voucher. So I can give her the voucher. Okay. And we'll go from there. And then you'll make an appointment what? with her to... I'm going to make an appointment with her for next week because she shows up almost at the end of the day. So that makes it a little harder because I'm, I have other, other things that I need to do. But I can, I can, right now I can write her up the voucher uh -huh. and I'm gonna make an appointment with her for next week okay and and then because there's documents that she has to fill out that I don't have time for because it's paperwork that I don't have time to do that I do have to make an appointment with her to okay. sit down with her and maybe possibly help her fill out the documents and and then we'll go from there how does that sound I well I mean she finally came back and now you're saying that you have to wait until next time so this is this is this is what I'm gonna hear from her. Is I've been telling her for all week to go back and go back, and she went back, and all you did was make an appointment to come back another time. Yeah, because I can't just drop everything I'm doing. I have appointments all day today. She shows up during an appointment. I I, and I mean she's waiting, and I, that's, there's nothing I can do because I'm working with another client. Um, but right now I have time to do the voucher. That's all I have time for today. Okay. But you, I would and you, love to do all the paperwork, but I can't. I don't have time right now. Well, she, We're almost going home. Well, can you send me the paperwork, and then I can fill it out for you and send it back? I will try to do that. I will try to do that because I'm wrapping up my day today, and I really want to get her this voucher. That's great. And But if you don't tell me when her appointment is and work with me to help get her there, I don't see how she's going to show up. She doesn't usually know what day it is. At any and, given point. Okay, so um, I can I can see her Monday. I can see her Monday if she comes up in the morning by ten o'clock or any time around ten o'clock. That's a good time for me for her to come over and I can help her with the paperwork. Okay. Okay, so if you see her, I mean, if you talk to her, just remind her ten o'clock Monday. Do you know any Mike? Any friend Mike? She has a friend Mike. Okay. And I don't know if that's a good person or a bad person, or like you mentioned. So um, what? I don't know if it's a good idea to call him on her behalf. Well, if that's who she said, 
she needs a ride from. I don't. Okay. Okay, and I'll just let her know Monday at 10 a.m. to meet with me. And you're going to send me the paperwork so I can have it all filled out for you or no? I will try to do that at the end of the day because I really got to get home and I'm trying to get her the voucher. I don't know if I'll get to, but I'll do my best to try to get that to you. Okay. Okay, I'll just remind her Monday at 10 a.m. Great. Thanks for all your help. Okay. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Hello? Hey. Hey. So I went to Salvation Army yesterday and they did this whole crazy run around where I sat there for fucking ever. Uh -huh. I literally did. I just sat there forever. No way. Forever, ever, and ever. And the lady didn't was coming out. I think they were playing me. They really just didn't want to let that happen, which is annoying as shit. I waited forever and ever and ever. It was ridiculous shit. She called me while you were outside. Because she needed to talk to me about some things, and then she went outside with your voucher, and you had already left. I waited forever, dude. That's so insane. If they would just, if at least, like, had me around so I knew, because she's just constantly telling me, I can't get a hold of this guy. I can't get a hold of this guy. I'm what guy? Forever. I'm like, she couldn't get a hold of what guy? She's saying she couldn't get a hold of you. When? <laughs> that, uh, that day? Yeah, she's saying every time she calls you, she can't get a hold of you. And I'm like, okay, well, there might be a way if I did it on Facebook. Why did she need to talk to me to give you your voucher for your DMV? I don't know, but that's what it She was just giving you the DMV voucher, right? Yeah, I don't know why she had to do all that. It made no fucking sense. I just wanted the voucher and I wanted to go. Well, I mean, it was a complete waste of time if you go all the way there and then leave before she comes out. I think she's fucking with you too, but there's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Seth. This is Carla over at Salvation Army. Me um, calling back uh, about your message. Uh, I got the message Tuesday. Uh, unfortunately, um, Victoria didn't stop by yesterday. Uh, so I don't know if she might show up today. I have a few appointments in the afternoon. So hopefully she shows up. She said she right was... Now we're serving lunch. Okay. She said she was going to go over there today. I told her, like you said, you're not there tomorrow or Friday. So she knows this is the last day she can see you this week. Um, I need to mail her because I'm sending her money. I, I can, I can, she can pick up mail there, right? Uh, yes. And what, what's the address? Actually, we have to have her sign a document before, but uh, you, you could just check with her. Did you sign the document? And if she says yes, then you can send her something. Okay. Whatever you need to uh, and, and please make sure if she does show, when she does show up, that uh, you have that document for her because she probably hasn't, hasn't signed it because I haven't sent her anything before. Okay. So, so it's Lancaster, California, 93534. And does it have to say attention to anything or can it just have her name? Just her name. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So she. I, I sent her some money on Western Union. She was kind of freaking out this morning because she's a, she has to carry all her stuff with her. Are there no vouchers? I thought there were vouchers because of the pandemic to get people off the street. Is there any way to get her in a hotel for her till we can get her out on uh, the bus? She kind of, she, uh, she would have to call. I'm not sure, but I know they have distributed some over at the Department of Social Services. She would have to go over there. But you so guys have like nothing to do with Okay, but you guys have nothing to do with that? Yeah, no, we okay. don't. Okay, I'll call over there and see if there's any way, because I, I know she doesn't qualify for their regular services because she's getting Social Security, but I'll try to oh, reach that out. that might be the case. Yeah. That might be the same case with the PSS. Yeah. Um, yeah, now that I remember, she's on Social Security, so yeah, she might not qualify, but she can try. I don't know what the, the COVID thing now, how they have the hotel, so yeah. she can all, always try. But uh, I want to make sure that you understand that I'm here to help her. I'm, I'm, not in, I'm in no way trying to stop any services or any benefits from her. And I don't, I don't appreciate you assuming or telling me that you think that I'm trying to do that. 
Uh, if you want me to stop working with her, I can reach out to another caseworker and she can take over if you like. Uh, because I'm doing my best to help her, but if you believe that I'm trying to stop that in any way, I can transfer you and, and transfer her to another caseworker. Well, I was just, I guess I was just confused because you reached out to me out of the blue and said, Victoria's trying to get here, you're trying to help her, and the only way that can happen... At her, at her suggestion, at her request. Yeah. I just didn't do it out of the blue. It's at her request. Yes. You reached out to me, and you said that the only way you could help her is if I filled out certain forms. And you would need those forms in your possession filled out when she returned the next time. Correct? Correct. So you never sent me those forms, and when I asked you about that, you said the reason you didn't send me the forms is because she didn't show up for the second appointment. I told you that day, the last Friday or the day before, the last time I saw her that week, it was 4.20 something. And I leave at, I, it was 4 something. I leave, I had to be out of here by 4, 4.30. I had to be done with her no later than 4.15 to get out of here. And I did that. Uh, I told you I would try to do that. I was going to do my best to do that. And I was not able to do that. I was not here on Monday. So Tuesday, when she didn't show up, I didn't send those documents because she did not show up to, to let me know that she wanted to move forward. And if she shows up out of the blue, it makes it really hard because I do have several clients that stop by just like her. Pretty much, if I'm working with them, I can drop the client to take care of her. No, no one's asking you to. My, my question is, if it was so important that you had those forms in your possession when she returned for the meeting with you on the following Tuesday after the holiday. But she didn't show up. She didn't show up. I, I know I didn't okay. get it. Car Carla, get Carla, Carla, on, Carla, on Carla, Carla, can you please let me finish the sentence? Sure, go ahead. You told me you needed those forms filled out before she came back on her Tuesday meeting. So saying the reason you didn't send it to me is because she didn't show up for Tuesday meeting makes no sense because you should you told me you were gonna i mean yeah, i was supposed to send them to you yes. yes i was supposed to send them to you but i don't work in the weekend i don't work saturday i don't work sunday i don't work monday i didn't work monday that week i i could not send it to you because i didn't get a chance to do that day uh, that last day i spoke to you and i was supposed to send it to you yes you were supposed to send it to me so i waited all weekend yes. i kept checking my folders nothing came in so Tuesday morning when you got to the office, you, I would think, oh my gosh, Vicky's coming in. I need these forms. And then you would send it to me then. Yeah, I didn't send them to you. No, nope, still I didn't, didn't send, send it to me. To yeah, so, but, but now, I don't know why you're caught up. But the because you're blaming I'm Victoria blaming. for you not sending the forms. I'm not blaming Victoria. Ooh. I'm not blaming Victoria. I, the, I, I, I can't do what I need to do if she's not here. Exactly. Though I have everything I, I, I need from you, she she's not here. So why and the did... ID voucher, she just left. She left. I was talking to you, trying. I told her, I want to try to get a hold of you. I did. I was talking to you that day. She why? took off. I'm, I'm curious, though. Why did you need to get a hold of me to give her the ID voucher? No. I was trying to get a hold of you before that day to try to get a hold of her, to try to see if you have talked to her. But when she came in to I get the... I don't need to talk to you to give her an ID voucher. Then why I did you... I don't know what she told you. Well, you just said that you left her outside waiting and came in to call me. Which you did. You called me twice. You didn't just call and leave a message. Then you called right back. So I heard my phone yeah, ring that's twice. When, that's when I told you I was going to send the documents to get to, to your email. To sign them. That was that day. Correct? So, so, so your, so your thing is you, you neglected to send the documents when you said you would, and then the day she was supposed to come in, you didn't send them, and then when she did show up, you immediately had to get a hold of me that very moment for the documents because you hadn't gotten them to me beforehand, correct? I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I just you. don't know I why you're not doing know. your you're job, doing, Carla. You're kind of getting me tired and frustrated when all I need is for her to show up. And she did. 
And instead of giving her the form, she's you... She's not here. She's not here. She, she was. Yesterday, she didn't show up today. She was there, though, and you left her outside for like an hour. Calling me. <laughs> when you just said you didn't need to call me. Oh, my goodness. Carla, why did you call me that day? Twice. Please tell me. I, I just want to know, know why to, you... I don't know what to tell you. You are caught up with what I should have, could have. Oh, I, I'm not sure. You're not sure? It's not immediate. It's not immediate. I cannot buy her the bus pass immediately. It takes about two to three weeks. I told you this. Yes. But and you could have, but you can't... You know, I don't understand but what you, you don't not understand. Because you, could, because you could have given her the DMV paperwork right away. You didn't need me for that. How? Carla. It has nothing to do with me. It doesn't cost me anything to give her that. Then why didn't you just give it to her? She took off. The first time she did not request it. The second time I said, uh, we can we can do an ID voucher. We can I told her all the services we can provide for her. Uh -huh. And she said, Okay, I'll meet you okay. the next day, which she didn't show up. But okay? then she, she did. Didn't show up. But then she did show up and you said, Wait out here, I'm gonna go get you a voucher. And instead of getting her a voucher, you called me twice. To let you know that you had to, I'm gonna, I was going to send you the forms. Nothing to do with the voucher. To, to send the forms. The voucher, I was going to, I had, I had the vouchers with me. When I walked out there, she was not there anymore. Yeah, because you, first of all, you called me twice. And then we're on the phone arguing with me for 11 without minutes. Without an appointment, if you recall, she shows up without an appointment. I, I was busy. You were busy. Kind of waiting out there. Wait, 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 Carla. Were you busy or were you on the phone with me for 11 minutes? No, before, when she got here. Uh-huh. When she just got here, I was busy. But then you called me. Instead of bringing the voucher outside where she was waiting for you, you called me twice, had an 11 million argument with okay, me. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, I'm maybe you should be you done, Carla. Case. I'm going to give you another case. Where Please, I'm Carla. Will she be... Can't. Will Maybe she destroy the fucking whole system to be an idiot? Or will she do her job correctly? Well, um, I'm I mean, going to give her to another caseworker. That'd be great. And um, Thanks. hopefully she shows up to receive the service. Yeah, that'd be great. What's the name of the caseworker so I can talk to that person? I'm going to have you contact. I'm going to have them contact you. Well, what's your supervisor's name, Carla? That's who I'm, You can talk to the other caseworker about it. No, I'd like to know your supervisor's name, Carla. Jennifer what? Jennifer Stanfield. She'll give you a call. Stanfield? Yeah. And she'll she'll be able to explain to me why, instead of bringing the voucher outside to Vicky, you called me twice, argued with I me guess, for 11 yeah. minutes? I, I guess, yeah. Okay, great. Because I'd like an answer to that question, Carla. Okay. Because Victoria said... One, one last... Ah, oh, there you go. I think she's fucking with you too, but there's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> She was acting weird with me, too. But you just have to fucking put up with it. We put up with enough bullshit.